here for Garden TV. I'm with Alex Cochran. Well, you are the publisher of Edible Seattle. I am. And how long have you been publishing? We are actually uh, just now at exactly our fifth anniversary. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah. That's a milestone. It's a milestone considering we launched in 2008 when the economy was in sort of full meltdown. Um, but we plunged ahead and we've been very successful. The magazine is very well received by the people here in Seattle. And how often do you publish? We are a bi-monthly magazine. Most of the edible communities publish on a quarterly basis. We are a little bit different. Um, we publish bi-monthly. We also sell our magazine at newsstands, uh, whereas the other edibles primarily use a free distribution model. And do you cover all types of um, articles? So you cover food, do you cover gardening? What, what sorts of articles do you have in your publication? Well, we generate all of our own editorial and we focus on the local food scene. So we're telling people what's in season, we tell them where to find it, we tell them what to do with it when they get it home. Um, we do cover gardening. Um, some, sometimes it's you know more seasonal, um, but it's a local food uh, focus, primarily on producers. So it really is about the brewers and bakers, the fishers and farmers, the cheese makers, the chocolatiers. Um, it, it really is more about uh, the people, but we, but we do have, because our readers are avid gardeners, we do have uh, gardening articles on a fairly regular basis. So that makes you a locavore. Um, does that also make you a gardener? Um, I garden as much as I can. I live in a condominium. I have some container gardens out on my patio. I've got a pea patch up on the roof. Um, I, uh, I grow... Uh, cherry tomatoes, uh, oh, most nice. sun sugars and sun golds, um, but uh, I have found that I really just have no luck with the larger tomatoes. Our growing season for tomatoes here in Seattle is, is not the best. Um, by the time they're getting ripe, it's actually getting rainy and cold and sometimes they split, but the cherry tomatoes are terrific. Um, and, uh, and I've got some garlic in right now up in the pea patch. I've got leeks in uh, overwintering. Uh, I'll do uh, snap peas on a fairly regular rotation. I've grown my own heirloom, heirloom beans up there. Um, oh, you're very industrious. Well, you know, it's not much <laughs> space, but I really I make the most of it. And I'll put some herbs into one of the planters out on the deck as well so that I can, you know, I can always draw from them as I'm cooking. Oh, good. So is there one tip that you could give our our listeners? I don't think I'm qualified to give gardening <laughs> to. I would say stay away from the larger tomato breeds, um, go with the cherries. Um, yeah, that's. I think that would be the, the only real tip I'm qualified to give. And perhaps to read Edible Seattle. Of course, that's, that's always advice that I give to everybody. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. This is Betty Fraser for Garden TV.